Now, earlier this week, the Senate passed a landmark bill aimed at protecting same-sex marriage. Twelve Republicans joined Democrats to pass the Respect for Marriage Act. The legislation protects same-sex marriage if the Supreme Court overturns the 2015 decision that legalized it. It also protects interracial marriage. While the measure doesn't prohibit states from banning those marriages, it would force them to recognize such marriages granted by other states. The bill now heads to the House. Well, here's how our senators voted. Republicans Burr and Tillis of North Carolina joining Georgia's Democrat Ossoff to vote in favor of the bill. Well, both South Carolina Republican Senators Graham and Scott voted against it. Meanwhile, Democratic Senator Raphael Warnock of Georgia did not vote. He is currently campaigning in his runoff against Herschel Walker. But during debate in the Senate, the Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg tweeted from his personal account about his observations of that debate. Oh, the tweet received a lot of attention online, and we have the tweet here for you. The secretary tweeting, quote, strange feeling to see something as basic as, and as personal as the durability of your marriage come up for debate on the Senate floor. And now, since we were able to speak with the secretary today, we wanted to ask him his thoughts on the passage of the act and the South Carolina senators voting against it. For any politician who's having trouble with this issue, I'd encourage them to stop by our house uh, and uh, see what is involved in uh, my husband and me getting uh, our uh, two children, our son and daughter, uh, out the door safely to daycare, uh, putting their shoes on, uh, cleaning scrambled egg off the wall uh, when necessary, doing all the things that uh, any married couple does. And uh, whether it's uh, taxes, whether it's hospital visits, or whether it's just the peace of mind of knowing that you'll be treated equally, that's something every American deserves. It's something every married couple deserves. That it become law, the act still needs to pass the House and signed by the president, which many believe will happen sometime next week.